Bobby Duke Art's tutorial on how to carve a scary pumpkin. Mine admittedly turned out a little bit derp, but you know, it's okay. Because this year, according to my sources, aka okay, Twitter, Bobby Duke Arts is gonna be making another pumpkin carving video. And I don't know exactly what his pumpkin's gonna look like yet, so I'm just gonna have to make the scariest pumpkin I can. Like I said, I don't know when his video is coming out, so his video might come out before mine, I don't know. I could always just text him, but that's what a sane person would do. Also, guys, according to my girlfriend, Corey Debransky, the grocery store down the street sells giant pumpkins. So I'm really hoping she's right. I'm gonna go check them out and go get one. <laughs> was just not to pull that hard. Okay guys, fingers crossed. Oh, we have a winner. I need some help. Mission success. A shout out to the nice lady and the nice guy who helped me load this into my car. It took two people, two separate times to load this thing. That's a big pumpkin. <laughs> it's just a little bit too heavy for me to hold. I need to start working out again. Got it in the house. Oh gosh. Just taking some minor damage to the Christmas tree. Oh. Oh, ho, ho. Well. Now that I got this thing in my house, it's time to get carving. So I guess I'm gonna start cutting off the top, but it looks like it needs a little bit of help sitting up straight. Well, you know what? It's fine. Enough delays. I'm just gonna start cutting, I guess. Oh. And there we go. Oh my gosh. Look at how meaty this pumpkin is. It's like almost as long as my hand. That's how the skin is on this. Now for the fun part of cleaning it out. I got my work ahead of me. This pumpkin has a very, very fruity smell to it. It smells pretty good. I don't normally do this, but I'm just gonna try one bite. That's not the worst pumpkin I've ever had. Honestly, this is the best pumpkin I've ever tasted. What the heck? Since when does pumpkin taste good to eat raw? Okay, that looks about clean. And now, we draw the face. I need to look up some spooky face inspo. I like the vibe of this. Yes, this is the vibe I'm going for. I hope I'm able to really do this face justice. You know what? I think this is a good start. There we go. One down. Oh yes, the eye holes. Eye holes are complete. Now it's time for the mouth. Mouth is done. So for the teeth, I think I'm gonna use some screws. Just really long and scary looking screws. I'm gonna paint them white first, but before I even paint them, I'm gonna have to cut the off the top part. That way I can stick them inside the pumpkin. Right now I can't do that. I wanna apologize in advance for how messy my garage is right now. But anyway, it's not really that important. It's time to cut some screws. This is gonna be harder than I thought. Okay, maybe these will work. <laughs> nope. These bad boys, maybe? Uh, this should do it. I mean, it'll technically work. I just want to say, this feels extremely dangerous with all my stuff in the background. I need to find a better place to do this. Might as well finish this one off. 
guys, the answer was in front of me the entire time. A giant tinfoil sheet. I'm really glad that I just happened to have this thing laying around five feet from where I was working. I just don't want anything in my garage to catch on fire. This really is a lot for teeth. I think I'm gonna have to find something else to use for teeth. Okay guys, so I ultimately decided that the screw idea, it's fun, it's hip, it's uh, very dangerous. So instead of spending 20 hours cutting screws, I'm just gonna use acrylic nails again. But luckily, these are already shaped, so all I really have to do is paint them. I just wanna completely fill his mouth with these sharp teeth. I'm just gonna paint a bunch of these. Thousand years later. Okay, now that the paint is all dry, I can take these off and shove them into my pumpkin. Honestly, I'm just hoping that this doesn't look too similar to last year's pumpkin. It's bigger, that's pretty much the only difference, really. So the teeth are looking pretty spooky, and I had some more of these teeth left over, so I think I'm just gonna fill his entire eye hole with teeth. Just bleeding gum teeth just all up in his eye hole. I can already see it now. Okay, now I gotta transplant the pumpkin over here. Oh my gosh! Oh, oh my god! This was a lot bigger than I thought it would be on my desk. Oh, I'm kind of seeing stars after lifting that. Oh my gosh. Now I'm gonna cover kind of like the mouth and the eyes in this liquid latex. That way it has sort of like skin-like texture. Just get that liquid latex all up in there. Now I kind of want to give him some eyebrows. Just some like, you know, angry, like kind of scary looking eyebrows, you know? I'm really hoping that this uh, turns out good. I've never been very good at eyebrows. And then down by his mouth, I kind of want to make it look like green slime is just oozing out. So I'm gonna give this a little bit of texture, just really raise up like, you know, part of it so you can kind of just see like really runny stuff coming out. It's gonna be like slime and blood. It's gonna be great. I'm even gonna put some spots in his teeth uh, to kind of like show where the blood is and have it kind of dripping down with the hot glue. Just very, make it very drippy looking. Guys, check out what happens when I add a green light. Whoa! Dude, that looks so sick! Holy crap. I really like this so far. <gasps> wow! I almost don't think it needs more, but we're gonna paint all this to look like blood. And then we have to paint the inside black. Maybe I should actually uh, do the eyebrows first. Mm, really big black eyebrows. Now we're gonna go and fill in the blood. Oh, yes. Just blood dripping from his eye. Ironically, I think I'm gonna have to repaint this orange <laughs> to make it look like a pumpkin again. I didn't think about this with all the hot glue. Well, guys, it looks like I am in fact, painting my pumpkin orange. This is indeed happening now. At this point, is this even like a jack-o'-lantern? Like, this is just madness. There's just so many different mediums here. It's, it's barely even pumpkin anymore. The eyebrows, not gonna lie, turned out a little goofy. Something a little bit of paint can't fix, hopefully. Now I'm gonna go in and add even more blood. Just blood dripping down his mouth, just dripping everywhere. Add just a little bit of black in there. And it really just makes the red just really texturized and look really good. I'm adding a little bit more hot glue just so it looks like the blood is coming out of the eye. So I let him dry for a little bit and um, I really like how it turned out so far but I kind of want to change this kind of eye drippy thing to like slime. You can already see the little green dot where I started testing it but I thought it would look really cool if like just like a green ooze was just uh, coming out of his eyeball and then it kind of just joins in with the blood. Okay. Okay, and with the light on, this green blends in perfectly with it. This looks so cool. I'm gonna turn off the lights for you guys. Whoa! That's pretty sick. I love the outline. Wow, that's so cool actually. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. And then the light turns on and you're just like, ah! This is fantastic. Guys, I have a programmable light in here, so now look at this. Woo! Dude, it's a party in here! love this. Oh, this is awesome. Dude! I need to put this on my porch. But before I do that, I actually put my light inside of a bag so that when I put it inside the pumpkin, it won't destroy my light. And now, it'll go all night. This light right here with the battery was about $40. Pretty worth it to make your pumpkin look freaking epic.
the video. If you liked it, make sure I give it a big ol' thumbs up. I'll look some of this fight right down there. If you guys wanna watch my last pumpkin carving video where I try Bobby Dugart's pumpkin carving uh, spooky tutorial, you can click right here. If you guys wanna subscribe to me, you can click right here. If you guys wanna check out Bobby's spooky pumpkin tutorial, you can click right here. Okay guys, love you so much, I'll see you guys again real soon. Peace, love, and Wi-Fi. Oh, we're done. Okay, bye. Ah.